Hey guys, what's up? It's 8-Bit Eric. I'm here with some news that I saw earlier today in regards to some upcoming Nintendo titles. So yeah, today's video is going to be nice. Let's go ahead and start it. So the news of today actually comes from a Tokyo-based Wall Street journalist, uh, Takashi Mochizuki, pardon my Japanese. Um, he's claiming that he's heard right straight from a source at Nintendo of Japan that they have one more unannounced Nintendo Switch game for 2019 that, and here is the exact quote, fans will be delighted to know. Now, this Wall Street Journal guy has been sharing these tidbits on Twitter and basically has been asking people to share their hopes for what title this could be. Um, this new game is supposed to come out with the next financial year for 2019, which is April 19th or March. So it's going to be coming out by March or April, and it's likely that... Uh, you know, this is to make up again for the Metroid Prime 4 development basically being scrapped and restarted. So th to say that fans would be delighted to know about this franchise is humongous. There's only honestly a select few of games that Nintendo could come out with based on their series and franchises that will cause a huge, huge, huge um, delightment out of their fan base. I mean, Metroid... Sure, that was a huge heavy hitter. Metroid fan base is pretty diehard, but it's not the biggest fan base out of all of Nintendo's projects. Neither is F Zero, neither is Animal Crossing. I'm sorry, Animal Crossing is not as big as a Legend of Zelda or even a Super Mario. So, what exactly could this game be? Is this going to make up for Metroid Prime's reset? Um, some games that I think might do this, believe it or not might be stuff that uh, might actually give a bit of fan service. Maybe there's going to be some kind of um, new Mario Galaxy game or a Mario Odyssey 2 sequel. Uh, I know Mario Galaxy has a huge fan base, and if they made a new Mario Galaxy-themed game, that might be huge. That, that might actually do something. But for it to be this far along and unannounced might... I don't know. There's also that Retro Studios game that was being worked on that has really not been talked about. Uh, they just now recently started doing the Metroid Prime 4 development, and there's not been much said about what they were previously working on. And obviously, if they're able to go and begin with Metroid Prime 4, development of the previous secret game has already kind of at least been winding down a bit. I'm very curious to see what Nintendo pulls with their trump card concerning the fact that delaying Metroid Prime 4 is a big, big, big hit on their 2019 plans. We still have an Animal Crossing title that has been announced. We have a Yoshi game coming out. We have a Bayonetta 3 game coming out. So I'm, I'm leaning towards this being the next Zelda game, to be quite honest. And I believe, and I made this in a made this assumption and speculation in a previous video that it is going to be a sequel to Breath of the Wild. I think it is going to be a direct sequel. I mean, sure, there might be some ports being made. There might be a Skyward Sword port. There might be a Metroid Prime HD remake uh, port coming out. But in all honesty, I think to say that a fans are going to be delighted that's some big terminology that that makes you think it has to be something big i mean what's going to be bigger than a metroid game a zelda game or a mario game uh there's been a ton of mario games released on the switch already mario rabbids mario party mario kart new super mario brothers deluxe super mario odyssey what else is left for the mario franchise other than making a Mario Odyssey Part 2 or a completely new Mario game that we had no idea about uh, or and this is a pipe dream because I know a huge amount of fans 
are dying for a new installment in the Earthbound slash Mother series. Maybe there is a secret Earthbound game in the works that has yet to be unveiled. I, I don't see Retro Studios working on that, though, to be honest. Um, I don't know if that's something that Retro Studios would be working on. Who knows? Maybe this isn't even a game that Retro Studios worked on. But I know they also said some other comments that um, it would be fit for Switch Online. So that's the main thing that actually kind of throws a, a, a bone inside of uh, the speculation. Fit for Switch Online, which at this moment we know that Switch's online service has never really been as in-depth or expansive as PSN or even Xbox Live. There's not too many games that present that huge multiplayer online experience where you're able to talk to each other and have fun and interact where it's just such a sprawling thing. Like, I, I could think of uh, several ways that they might do something like that, but to add a multiplayer experience to it, then it definitely cancels out Legend of Zelda, unless somehow there's a Zelda game where you can play as multiple different characters and stuff and i don't know to me they would never make zelda an mmo animal crossing is definitely a possibility maybe the upcoming animal crossing will be a multiplayer open world experience maybe maybe they'll go a little bit more expansive as to what animal crossing is that's something that is a possibility but i don't i don't see animal crossing's fan base being that big to where it would affect um the fan base enough to cause a huge um delightful see there's so much terminology here delight to all fans fit for switch online that it, it leads a lot of speculation here um who knows what it honestly could be i mean for all we know it could be a online version of nintendo land with more games and service and stuff like that maybe it'll be like a bigger online nintendo themed theme park like nintendo land was but again I don't see that as a system seller as well. An open world Star Fox, I don't know. Uh, you know, like me personally, I'm all for the um, the online experience to be a lot bigger and more adaptive and have a lot more variation in what you can do. Uh, the more the merrier. Like, like Splatoon's awesome, but you can't really play people that you know on it. You can't, you know, you're stuck to a certain amount of people every round. Uh, you have to have friends only on there and you know you can't just like Mario Kart 8 I think does online great because you could do a tournament and anybody could hop in that has the tournament code Smash Brothers is similar in that regard but I you know I, I I'm curious as to see what exactly Nintendo does have up their sleeves in regards to a game that will make everyone happy that's key number one and key number two is fit for switch online so this leads a lot, um, basically, you know, for people to think about. And this is for the next fiscal year. So this will be sometime a year from now. Between April 2019 or March of next year is what I'm trying to tell you guys. Um, maybe Nintendo shared this little tidbit to this journalist just to kind of give a little bit more of a, a little, you know, they like to build hype and anticipation for a lot of their releases and stuff. Uh, I'm not sure how accurate this Wall Street Journalist guy could be because I know the Wall Street Journals come with a lot of um, bad press as of late. But, you know, Nintendo Japan really doesn't seem like they fuck around when it comes to stuff on the internet and news and stuff like that. So this could be the start of a really big rumor that is going to come true and basically wow us. So we got between now and March of next year to find out exactly what nintendo has up their sleeve that's unannounced um if it's something this big I, I i can't see it being announced until e3 so there was no nintendo direct in january of 2019 and i don't think they would just reveal it in a random nintendo direct they're gonna wait until june so yeah guys that's it what do you what do you guys honestly think this could possibly be Comment down below, and if you're new to the channel, throw a subscription, and uh, yeah, thanks a lot for watching, guys. I'll see you on the next video. Peace out. Yours truly will be at the SoCal Retro Gaming Expo February 23rd and 24th in Pasadena, California at the Pasadena Convention Center. There will be a free play console 
area, an arcade area, retro gaming tournaments, and some giveaways, prizes, photo ops, meet and greets, 8-Bit Eric t-shirts will be on sale. You can save 10% on your tickets, any ticket, using code 8-Bit Eric. Be there or be square, bitch. Yeah.